friends and family, you need to know that this couple is honored and delighted to have you here today. And you all know that we're here for a wedding and there is going to be a marriage. And yet this is about something bigger than a wedding or a marriage. This is about love. And love just happens to be, in my humble opinion, the most powerful force in the universe. Andrea, I think anyone that knows us knows that we're pretty different people. I'll give you five stark differences. Um, one, I'm a, a relatively average height individual. Uh, two, I'm born in 94 and you are born in 93? Uh, but three, also when we first met in school, you chose your field of study based on something that truly interested you, whereas I looked for something that I thought would keep as many doors open as possible. For when you chose your first job, you pick something that you found intellectually stimulating. And look at where that has taken you. The number of people here from your first job, you're made of honor. People that celebrate you and love you. So it brings me to five. You've always seemed to know who you are, whereas I've always been stuck on this vision of who I want to be. From the moment that we first met, I knew that you were someone that led with your heart and that it was breathtaking that day and has been every day since. When I met you freshman year, I think my life kind of changed. Outwardly, I'm open and friendly and warm, but on the inside, I am really good at keeping people at arm's length, telling them just enough that they think I'm being vulnerable, but not enough that it actually comes with a cost. Within weeks of meeting you that freshman year, you touched an emotional scar and said that you wanted to be my redemption. When I rephrased it to you as you feeling like you needing to fix me, you told me that I was never broken to begin with. You see me as stronger than I am, never babying me, even when I wanted to be babied. You treated me as an equal, never broken goods. And now we're here. <laughs> I still feel like broken goods, in a sense. I am not good enough, but maybe good enough isn't really the point. The point is that I know I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and I genuinely cannot imagine spending the rest of my life with someone else, and that's scary. Loving you like this is scary because I feel like I'm letting go of my protective shell, but I also love that part of our journey because loving you and showing you all of me and leaning on you and letting you help me process all that life is has been so, so, so much more rewarding than being safely boxed in in my shell. I can't make promises about what's going to happen tomorrow. People change, situations change, things happen. Um, and I don't want to make any vows that aren't true. So what I will promise in front of all our witnesses, in front of you, in front of our God, is that I will practice daily. I will practice daily to listen and to truly understand your needs. I will practice daily to treat you with gentleness, not because you're fragile, but because that's the way that we treat things that are precious to us. To practice giving you space to grow and to be okay when you're not ready. To seek your heart because that's how you lead. That's how you were designed. And that it's a beautiful reflection of our maker. And five, to love you sacrificially, unequivocally, and unconditionally as Christ does for us. I love you, Winky and Andrea Kwan.
Andrea left her home in Hong Kong 12 years ago to study in the UK. And two years later, she decided to go to the US. And she has been in this part of the world since. So she may not realize this, but all these years we've missed her a lot. And um, often we wonder if she's taking good care of herself, if she's eating healthily. And while we wish we could spend more time with Andrea, we're comforted by the fact that she has Raymond in her life. Um, and the important thing is that God has been watching over them and God has been guiding them to embark on a new journey together. I talk about the important things to do, to do the right thing. I believe he did the right thing at that moment. He found a person who believed to be his soulmate and believed that will be a lifetime partner. That is where he started his right thing and then nine, maybe nine years ago, right, whatever he did in the last nine years that bring us to today's celebration. Good job, Raymond. I think I'm out of one lotto. I think you're cooler than gelato. You're the color of the season. Keeping it smooth like legato. You're the hottest on the market. And you're only getting started. Making waves like the ocean. You're my favorite You're my favorite. 